Hello my friend, it's Tony T here from Transform Your Life and today's video is slightly different, it's called Struggling, Why Gratitude is So Important. So this is going to be a very different video for me. I don't usually talk about myself that much, even though I've said before that I would, my bad I know, but it's different because I'm usually upbeat and positive and after all that's the whole point of this channel, which is to bring positivity into the world and help people to transform their lives for the better. But I haven't been feeling like that recently, which is why I've not really been posting anything on YouTube. But let me give you a little bit of the backstory. Some of you may know a few months ago, I broke my elbow and I've had a real struggle with that since then. And I think that's kind of contributed to the way that I'm feeling now. I've been really busy and really stressed because there've been a lot of things going on at the same time that all needed my attention. And I feel like I was just spreading myself a little bit too thin. And normally I can handle it and it's not a problem, but lately it's become a problem and I haven't been feeling my usual self. And I think when there's a lot going on and stress creeps in and we're just really, really busy, I think the first thing to go is gratitude. We very quickly start to focus on the things that are going wrong or that we're not happy with or that are not good enough. And all the things that are great in our lives take a back seat or disappear from view completely. And so it's very easy to spiral downwards and I feel this is what's happened to me. And I think it all started a few months ago, like I said, when I broke my elbow. And it's been several months and I still can't fully straighten my arm. And my worry is that it will never properly straighten. And although I can do most things, there are a lot of general day-to-day -day things, the easy stuff, that's actually a lot more difficult now. Plus, my, my wrist is now really weak because of where they had to and do an operation on the tendons and it hurts it almost every day certainly when i'm trying to lift or do certain things but yesterday for me was a particularly bad day it wasn't as though anything specifically happened i just felt like shit. i felt like shit about my life about myself that i wasn't where i wanted to be at this point in my life i'm not happy with my living arrangement i've been trying to buy a flat for the last six months which has been really stressful and that just recently fell through I'm sick and tired of sharing and you know house sharing with other people right now I just want my own space I just want to come home and know that I don't have to think about anybody else is that selfish yeah you're damn right it is but there's nothing wrong with being selfish when it benefits your health and your sanity so while all this was going on I was also applying for a job I researched really well I was prepared to the point where you know I felt completely ready but on the day, I don't know what happened. I just kind of fell apart. I wasn't my usual self because I usually do really well in interviews. And what made it worse is that this is a position that's still within my team. So the people who were interviewing me know me really, really well. So I felt completely embarrassed about my performance. And although thankfully I did get the job on a 12 month comment, I felt that I had tainted it and that I, you know, I had done something wrong. And although I'm super happy that I've got the job. It's been really hard to focus on that because I felt, you know, really uncomfortable about the way that I performed in the interview. Um, and it's just one more thing that kind of chipped away at my usual state of happiness and my, you know, happy equilibrium. Not just that, but I've also felt frustrated about other things, you know, like developing my business online. Some of that's about my YouTube and my Facebook stuff and book sales. And I know you know that some of that is my fault I need to change my strategy or even I need to have a real strategy I need to focus more on specific areas and not so much in others so I get that but I was also feeling lonely as well which is also not like me at all because I'm happy with my own space and being alone and I don't th feel that being alone equates being lonely certainly not for me so that was just one more thing I you know I have some great friends and family who, although I do not see all the time, I know if I called, you know, they would be there in a second for me. But when you're feeling low, logic goes out the window and emotional instability takes over. As I said, it's not like me to feel like this. So I kept trying to find a way to shift my mood, to change my state, to be feeling differently to how I was because I just wasn't feeling great. But to be honest, nothing worked, no matter what I tried to do, I just felt really shitty. But throughout the day, there was one word that just kept popping into my mind, and that was gratitude. And although I know, you know, I have a lot to be grateful for, it just 
didn't feel like that in the moment. And although I could particularly pinpoint things, it just wasn't resonating with me. So I had a choice to make. I could either stay feeling miserable for the rest of the day and God knows how long after, or I could do something to try and shift that mood. So, you know, and I think choice is one of our greatest gifts, but that's the subject of another video, I think. But I decided to sit down and write down all that I have to be grateful for. But what I did first was I wrote down the things that I was unhappy with, and then I found a way of finding something to be grateful about that situation. So for example, in relation to the house, where I was disappointed that the flat fell through and I'm not happy sharing. So that was a thing I was unhappy with. But I focused on what do I have to be grateful for in that situation? Well, I have a roof over my head. I have my own space to some degree. I have my room I can go in and lock myself away and I don't have to deal with anybody else. I have my personal things around me. And you know, that's something to be grateful for. I'm not homeless. I'm not dependent on anybody else. So that was something I needed to focus on. What about the job situation? and how that connected to gratitude, even though I don't or didn't feel that I did well in the interview, but I still got the job. It's more money. It's a great learning opportunity. Who knows where that could potentially lead in the future? And that's what I needed to focus on. Not something that I have no control over. I can't change the past. I can't change how the interview went, but what I can change is my perspective and my point of view. I can be grateful that I got the job. And, you know, I had to get into that frame of mind that I know I've got the job, that I'm going to be good at doing that job and I'm going to give it all that I can. But then I thought about feeling lonely. Like I said, to me, that's something that's quite unusual. And I knew that it was a passing feeling. I knew that I've, I know that I've got friends and family that I love and who love me back. But when you're feeling, when you're feeling bad, those things are hard to connect to. They don't want to sit well with you so there I was and then I thought okay I know I have family I know I have friends I just need to remind myself of that I have that and I am I am truly grateful for my friends and my family some of my friends who I've been friends with for 15 20 years who know the who know me inside and out and that is a lot to be grateful for and I know that I was feeling sorry for myself but you know, that was just how I needed to feel at the time. So I suppose the whole point of this video is when you're struggling and life just feels like it keeps knocking you down every time you try and get up, take a step back, sit down as hard as it may be and find something to be grateful for. Even if it's just one thing that you can stay connected to, doesn't matter how big or how small, just find something that you can feel true gratitude for. Make a choice to be grateful for something because when you're operating from that space of true gratitude, you cannot be depressed. You cannot stay angry. You can truly change the way that you feel about yourself and your life because that's exactly what I did yesterday. And today I feel so much better. There isn't that heavy cloud hanging over my head. I can feel positive about things, even though I know they're not great or they're not exactly how I want them to be, but I know I have a choice in making that change. I can do something to change my situation and my circumstances. But while I'm doing that, I'm grateful for what my circumstances are. I have a job. I have a roof over my head. I'm not struggling financially. I've got friends. I've got family that I love and that love me. That's a huge amount. There are plenty of people that don't have those things. So who am I to f sit there and feel sorry for myself because I don't have the perfect house the best job in the world you know whatever it is that you really really want so you know today i just took a step back i actually went to the park because it was really you know sunny this morning i took a notepad and pen just chilled out i actually meditated for 20 minutes with the sun on my face which was wonderful meditation is a great way of changing your feeling and changing your state of mind it really calms you and focuses you and to be honest that's something i need to get back into i used to meditate all the time but haven't for for a while but have recently started to get back into that practice and perhaps 
you know, with a little bit of distance now, perhaps I needed to feel shit yesterday. Perhaps I needed to feel down just so that I could find a way to remind myself of all the wonderful things that I do have in my life. And that's a very powerful experience. And here's one more thing. You're not alone. You are not the only one that feels like that, if that's how you're feeling at the moment. And chances are, there is someone in your life that you can reach out to. Don't suffer in silence. It's okay to talk to someone. It's okay to reach out and say, hey, I'm really struggling at the moment and I just don't know what to do. And allow yourself and allow someone to be there for you. And if you feel that you can't do it on your own, call someone. You know, even if it's somebody that you, you know, don't know, there are plenty of support groups, Facebook groups, online um, organizations that you can call anonymously, like the Samaritans, if you're in the UK. You don't have to struggle on your own. You don't have to feel bad. And if all of those things don't feel like an option for you, hey, drop me a message in the comment below and you know I'll try and get back to you or let the other community, the people in the community respond and, and lift you up. So I hope this video connects with you on some level, in some way. And if you're struggling, I hope that it helps you to find a little bit, bit of a way back to, to who and how you should really be feeling. So I've also linked in, in the uh, box below a couple of my other videos that I've done on gratitude. One is the gratitude prayer and the other one is some gratitude affirmations, which I'm actually going to listen to again myself just to get me back into the right state of mind. So you can check those out below. I've also linked in my Facebook group where you can connect with me. There's also a link to my blog and also my books on Amazon. So I send this video to you with love wherever you are in the world and remember never give up, never give in because you are amazing. Much love, Tony T.